Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk about something everybody else is talking about. It's been known for years in dermatological circles that, in fact, if you take a lot of vitamin D, you'll be in a situation where you probably won't get skin cancer. Well, as you know, the people in academia, the dermatologists have said, no, 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 you never make that out in the sun. Take lots of sunscreen and a lot of the people like myself say, uh, come on, that's not really right. When I was 18, 19, I was working in Florida on uh, houses being built, basically putting roofs on. Out in the sunshine, wearing only uh, a pair of shorts and boots, uh, getting very thirsty, and what I would drink would be milk. It would vitamin D enhanced milk. In fact, when you figure out how much I drank, I was taking about 3,200 units of vitamin D a day. Now, back that time, that didn't mean much. It didn't really mean that we were going to get cancer or anything like this. But when I moved to Northern California, I found a lot of people from Southern California who had spent their time on a beach, mostly, and ended up with a lot of skin cancer. Not so. I've never had anything like that. So here's a piece of information that sort of reflects on this. Vitamin D metabolism, and look at all the other things they talk about. How other things are activated by vitamin D in the skin. And that gives you some place to at least start to think about vitamin D being good to keep your skin normal. I don't know whether I'm in that category or not, but I don't have any skin cancer, and I don't have any of the other blistering effects that are happening to a lot of people as they age. It is good for you to take vitamin D, and it's good for your skin. And knowing all those kind of things, remember just what I said.